What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Stardust here, welcome back to another video here on the YouTube channel and today we're talking about Marvel's Avengers joining the Xbox Game Pass subscription service. Now, as a PlayStation player, uh, this is, you know, it's pretty cool, like this is obviously a really cool thing for um, the player base in general, you know, just to sort of grow it on platforms that it may not be as strong. But what we're going to do is we're going to read the article today, I'm going to give you some of my thoughts on like what this might mean, you know, and, and different stuff like that. So. Let's have a gander. So, as we look through this, we're excited to announce that the entirety of Marvel's Avengers will be available with Xbox Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate as an Xbox Play Anywhere title on the 30th of this month. So, that is tomorrow now in the UK time because it's the 29th. That's pretty exciting. I mean, it's cool that, like, they announced it and then it's just coming out, like, the next day. I think stuff like that is really fun. I think that, like, you know, just announcing it and just like, oh, shit, okay, around the corner, you know? Uh, every player with an Xbox Game Pass subscription can experience all nine heroes, the Reassemble campaign, Operation Taking Aim, Operation Future Imperfect, the recently released War for Wakanda expansion, and the ever-evolving Avengers initiative for endless hours of multiplayer co-op. Marvel's Avengers is ever-expanding with ongoing updates to add new playable heroes, missions, villains, and events. Be there for what's to come with Marvel Game uh, Xbox Game Pass. Why do I say Marvel? So, this is kind of weird for me, right? And, it, and it's weird for sort of like only a handful of reasons so obviously we know that spider-man is coming to playstation sometime sort of relatively soon in the next couple of months or few months right so with them doing this does that mean that the grip that sony has over this game is so slowly loosening you know what i mean are they starting to sort of see that maybe there isn't much value in having this be so heavy on the exclusives if you know what i mean which um i'm not saying like oh all of a sudden, Spider-Man is going to be fucking uh, on every single system. I'm not saying that. What I'm trying to say is that there is a possibility there that the future may be a little bit brighter than we thought. But that's just speculation, just due to the fact that this is even a thing. You know what I mean? So let's keep reading. Let's uh, let's keep having a gander. So. There's more we have planned from here. Our roadmap details the new content and updates coming between now and at the end of the year. Um, if you'd like to read up in more details. See, the difficult part about this is that you're advertising to new players. Cause obviously, that's what the Game Pass is for, right? But with the roadmap having the Spider-Man <laughs> sticker only on PlayStation, it's like... Fuck, I would try and make Xbox players avoid that like the plague, you know what I mean? Like, I'd try and bring them in first, and then drop the Spider-Man bomb. But anyway, um, regardless of that, uh, for, for further insight on what's coming in the next few months, whether you're new to Marvel's Avengers or a seasoned player with some heroes you haven't leveled yet, this is the perfect time to jump in. We're hosting a quadruple XP event from uh, the 30th to the 4th to close out our one-year anniversary celebration. This is valuable for Xbox players because part of our launch is an Xbox Play Anywhere title. If you already own the game, you can also download and play the Windows PC version at no additional cost and rapidly level up your heroes. Okay, so this was this is great because this is what I wanted to talk about. So. Obviously, they're saying, look at the roadmap for the future content, right? Um, you, In my opinion, in my honest opinion, whilst you're advertising the game, showing your roadmap with relatively no content on it. Like, think about it as an Xbox player, right? No Spider-Man, right? So take, get rid of Heroes. Uh, a bunch of reworks, which you would imagine <laughs> going into this game for the first time, and the first thing you see is, oh shit, a lot has been reworked. What's the game like now? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a bit off-putting, I'm not going to lie. So, you know, hopefully the raid is enough when people look at that to be like, yo, okay, let's jump in. Um, the quadruple event is confusing to me. I wrote this on Twitter, and I'm going to say it here as well, why well, I, I don't care. Is that essentially, for me personally, doing this uh, four times XP event, right, makes no sense. And I I'll explain to you why. For current players, this is great. I'm... I'm... Sh I'm, I'm solely talking about brand new day one players. A couple of months back, Marvel's Avengers, the team themselves, did that thing where it was like, oh, we don't want players to get overwhelmed with experience points, skill points, right? So, you think, and you know, and, and they've gone back on that several times with multiple big XP events, uh, XP boosters, stuff like that. It's one of those things, though, that I kind of just went, their philosophy must have changed, right? They didn't communicate that with us, but surely, you know? This is kind of one of those things where it's like, 
if you believe that even a few months ago, is it really smart, like, allowing brand new players to get four times the normal amount of XP, breeze through it? Because in my opinion, right, the best content in this game is the story modes, yeah? And I'm speaking just from my own experience. If I was told, right, you've got... Um, you know, a weekend to do to get your heroes leveled up, then I'd be like, shit, okay, blast through the story mode to get the XP, do as much as I can, and then I'm and then I'm at the end game stage. And to me, you shouldn't be incentivizing players to rush through your best content. You shouldn't be incentivizing people to rush through the campaign because then those Xbox players are going to be where me, where the June, where High Ruler, where the other um, content creators are at the moment, where we've got nothing to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you want to kind of drag it out a little bit. You know what I mean? That's why I put on Twitter, I made a post, I said this exact thing, and I just said, take your time because, my God, take your time. You know what I mean? Um... But yeah, no, so, I mean, it goes against what they said a few months ago. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea because it would just make people rush through stuff. But as a current player, I'll probably farm up from the depths, you know what I mean? Like, I'll probably just, you know, I'll, I'll get involved and stuff like that. But it's good that that's on all systems. It doesn't feel sort of too like, oh, it's, it's big Xbox day. And then here they're like, uh, Avengers on Game Pass does not include the eight cosmetic items from our end game edition, which isn't all the end game items. So that is a bit weird. But anyway, um, <laughs> so there you go. So that is, so for me, it's like, I want to see what happens now. You know what I mean? Like, I want to see, you know, because that's a pretty big announcement. You would imagine that by the time the fourth is over with this quadruple event, you would want to advertise maybe something a little bit more for the game. Because at the minute, obviously, it's just reworks and raid. You know what I mean? But it's a bit weird because, like, will... So, so obviously, you know, Spider-Man, right? Just going back to him for a minute. Will he get any mention at all in the next few weeks? Because they're going to be trying to, like, really, you know, moist up Xbox players to jump on Game Pass. And I wouldn't touch the Xbox version with a pole if I knew that Spider-Man was PlayStation exclusive. Now, that's that's kind of the weird thing. So, I, I don't know how it'll work. I look forward to seeing the player numbers, you know, on... Um, oh, fuck, we can't, can we? Because it's not... S it, regard right, anyway. I look forward to seeing, you know, if people feel like there's more of a player boost on matchmaking and stuff like that. I do, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what happens from here on. But let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, drop, drop a comment. Just we can have a nice chat about it. And, yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Peace.